and we got married in 2008. We moved into our first home, our own flat in 2010 and got our first child in 2010. You know, we're married with three kids. <laughs> awesome, right? I didn't want a traditional Malay wedding, so that was the first thing I said no to. I thought that I had to change a lot, and I was afraid of that. So when I spoke to one of the Ustads, he explained it to me. Normally, if your friends have already kind of used to calling you Anne, it can continue after, you know, conversion. The core teaching of Islam, the change will be more to the belief rather than names and all others. Is it a very drastic change if I were to convert? There should be like, today you wear the Malay baju kuro, tomorrow wear chong sam lah. Islam has already been Malayanized. Is there a mention of like, in the Islamic law book that special dress code for a lady? No. What is mentioned in Islamic law book was that the coverable parts of the body that needs to be covered. Will my family feel like they will lose me as a daughter? Sorry, I... Parents still remain parents. The Quran made it very clear. You are to serve your parents. It doesn't look into what religion that parent belongs to. My dad is still not comfortable with uh, being part of my family yet. So at times when we have family gatherings, we have two sessions going on. One session with my father, one session without my father, and just with my husband. My mom and my brothers, they have been uh, very encouraging and supportive with the kids' upbringing in a Chinese and Malay household. So when it comes to Hari Raya, they would also wish my mother Slama Hari Raya. <laughs> my mother would be very amused by it. My mother-in-law is quite important because uh, she helps take care of my kids when, when both of us are working. They would observe her when she prayed and even at a very young age when they are like one plus, they would be able to imitate the movements of the prayers. They would learn to speak in Malay because she would speak only very little English and more Malay to them. Sham and I always thought of how we could bring the two cultures and two families together. When we chose names for our, for our children, we included my family surname. Alicia Chua no Sham, uh. Akil Chua no Sham, uh, and Alina okay. Chua no Sham. I've overheard my daughter, my eldest daughter, say to a girl who was speaking to her in Mandarin that don't speak to me in Mandarin, I, I'm Malay, I can speak Malay. And I was very amused by it because we have never told her she's Malay or she's Chinese. And she very unconsciously just blurted that out. We do not agree that if you do not take on Mandarin, you will be at a disadvantage in finding a job and that you would be sent to China and you wouldn't be able to work in China because you cannot speak Mandarin. So we don't believe in that. The Old Testament in the Bible is similar to what the Muslims learn as well in Islam. Moses, about Adam and Eve, about the, the Ark. Something that I know, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's something that Sham knows as well, so we can talk about these stories to the kids. Look at all the cows, right? I, I actually asked this before of Sham. What if one of our kids decides to marry someone of a different race or religion? His immediate response was, Cannot. <laughs> No lah, I'm just kidding lah. It's fine, as long as the boy or girl is like nice and uh, he doesn't have to like hold like, a high position in some corporate company or some shit. As long as he earns his living 
honestly, can go, can go out with my kids, right? no problem. 